Greetings everyone, Dan Halligan with k and Games. One of the most nerve-wracking moments for a game designer is what's inside this box. So 58,000 pounds of games have been manufactured. That's 29 tons of games. And what's in this box is what those 29 tons will be. Now, the purpose of this, ignore cat. <laughs> Purposes of this, the purpose of this is that we, we do have some flexibility as it relates to how the game is assembled. And um, there are some very expensive and time delaying remedial measures that can be taken if something's wrong. Uh, with the COVID epidemic, the last thing we want is any delay. So I am very hopeful that we see exactly what we worked so hard to get. So this is unfiltered. So you, you may hear a shriek of despair or a shriek of delight from yours truly. So let's pop this open. Stuff usually arrives from China pretty, pretty beat up and not packaged all that well. Well, we have, why do we have two Wessex? So they gave me two, oh, they might have given me two of everything. So there's the Wessex, it's got the new box. I'm going to get to a better I'm going to get to a better perspective because I'm piled up on on a bunch of games in order to see what's in the box. But when I look at that that does not in any way alarm me. It makes me very pleased. This one I'm going to jump ahead and grab. Oh, I love it. So this this is the promotional tiles that you all created and the the idea was not to be a box, but to be a very sturdy, reliable. They didn't put Panda Games on there. See, normally they put Panda Games and their mark on there. I'm wondering why they didn't do that. I don't know. I don't think that's a big deal. But look at that. I love that. I love the feel, how solid that is. That's going to ship well. Uh, when anybody does order this in the future retail, I'm, I'm liking that a lot. We are getting, looks like two of everything. I didn't realize I was getting two of everything. How nice. So we got two Wessexes. Somebody out there is saying, Dan, give me one of them. You've made me wait almost a year. That's beautiful. Okay, this is the big boy. Oh, there, that thing is huge. This is the, I'll show you from a later perspective, this is the, this is the big box. The only designation, just keep it clean, is this second edition crown up here to differentiate, beside the fact it's a thicker box. It's got a different back too. Um, but the only, the only designation on the front to differentiate is that crown. Oh, that baby's beautiful. And that, oh, look. There's upstairs, downstairs. Right now, just from box perspective, I'm a happy camper so far. Um, that's an upstairs, downstairs. We have another upstairs, downstairs, and another box. So I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to uh, meet you with everything a little cleaned up. So I've got my couple of stacks of games here. I'm now sitting comfortably on the table. And let's go to the headliner right here. Second edition of Obsession. Let's go and uh, very, very gently.
Now the packaging of these storage boxes is really one of the revelation. If I assume that all the components are the way they're supposed to be, the way that this packs out is really the main function of this. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have some input. So we lift up. We have the instructions. These were completely rewritten. I think you'll find them quite an upgrade from the first edition. Everything that accidentally slipped into the glossary in the first printing because I tried to make the, I tried to see this is 16 pages. I tried to make the rule book 12 pages in the first game and that was a mistake because I had to basically put some things in the glossary that people didn't know were there. Not, not, not wise. Here's the glossary, which was also completely rewritten. And I think you'll like some, some of the stuff you find in there. Okay, so let's pop this out. There are your babies. There's your boxes. So that was on top. I have to actually, well, this is all recorded, so I don't have to make notes. I can go back. So the milestones are added to the objective section here on the score pad and we go up to six players, slight, slight difference. So now these boxes, as, as you see, now see this was upside down, I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, these are gonna be used for storage of some components, but that's empty, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty. So that came in, those were not used, these, are being used for the dice and the meeples and the bag. I'm pleased with that. This is this is coming out of the the linen is nice. It's nice on these. This one was not used. So they only had to use one box for the storage. We have the new round track. Again, I'm going to examine these in great detail, but you can see the reserves there the main difference in this round thing. Whoa. We have, um, they're not as happy with the production as I am. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know there's your cat lovers and cat haters. That's been a theme from us from the get-go. And there's the extended play with uh, credit to John Weber moving the national holiday up. That plays, that really plays nice because it's actually even a little earlier than in the base game and it becomes a huge strategic focus when those first two seasons to tee up the right event for that uh, ter that round 11 so that's that's beautiful i have no no complaints there these are going to be key because color matching is something i felt uh, could be improved um, with the patterns and so i really spent a lot of trying a lot of time trying to match those colors up very precisely we will we will see that and here oh my god this is one of the most nerve-wracking things this I, oh god I'm, I'm just i'm freaked out <laughs> i've got a hold on um so why i'm freaked out is because putting this integral organizer here to streamline to get this precise widths with the the variance that's allowed when you use a die cut is so critical. Uh, that's that's the original side if you use the organizer. But if you don't use the organizer, you have those the, the integral organizer. And and I've got to check that and I will. Oh, this this baby is glorious. This thing is glorious. This is the new supply board, a couple of features that you might like to see. Um, Servants for hire was greatly increased. Obviously, we're bringing in a lot of new servants in the upstairs downstairs expansion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had feedback and it, it resonated with me that nobody puts the name of their game on uh, unless the name, if the game was called Derbyshire, they would, they would put maybe the name on there. But if the name is something else, you don't put the name of the game on um, the main board uh, that sort of pulls you out of the theme to have obsession there you're not thinking of that location which is Derbyshire 
and so I changed that to Derbyshire. This is the Market Reserve, and that looks beautiful. I just, oh, I love, I love this. I tell you, play, I can't wait for you folks to play with the Market Reserve. It just is a, it's a wonderful enhancement of the quality of the market late in the game. So I'm loving that. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Oh, so objective cards. These have been modified to uh, remove a couple that were no good, like finish the game with your starting servants, to balance a couple of the cards that were overpowered. These also were modified to um, to sort of balance the the favors. I got rid of the six, seven, and eight. These are all three, four, five cards. So those are there. We have our decks. We'll take a look at those in a second. Here we go, our punch boards. One of the things that I absolutely love from the first game was the quality of the die cut and the punch board. I mean, just the, the buttery removal of these. Okay, people. Let's see what we get. I don't know. Let me let me let me contrast that here. So that does match quite nicely. Let me grab. Let me grab. Yes. Beautiful. I'm going to go in there a little bit. The width here is what is absolutely key. And to get that edge width, let me do another one. Let me grab a private study here. It comes out like butter. And the widths are perfect. I could not be more excited. Wonderful. The integral organizer turned out well. Color matching looks very much closer than last time. I've always struggled a little bit with that um, estate color matching. That one's better than it was last time, but it's a, a little lighter, but I don't think that that's a serious issue. Uh, so these look good. There's a couple new things in the boards you should take a, a look at. Uh, we have all of our um, sorting numbers that are there, right? We have some new tiles right here, the green room and the south lawn. These beautiful hybrid tiles that flip over and play in two categories. I tell you what, I'm getting jazzed. All right, I'm going too long on this. We're going to stop, and then we're going to take a look at the upstairs downstairs expansion which really is the headliner of this Kickstarter project. but um, and, th and then I will pack the box out in a future video, and I'm going to dig into the cards, and I can't do that all right here. So I'm going to stop you now, meet you back. Let me flash out there. All righty. This one is the most complicated thing in the world. This had so, so many moving parts different additions and, and tweaks. Everything in this box sort of was organically growing and changing as part of the campaign. And so the complex, oh, sorry, the complexity here was so much greater than the complexity in the base game. The base game, I had a few, I had a few fundamental changes that I had to be very cognizant of. But in this, man, this was, this was chaos in a box. Pop this open. Let's take a look. <laughs> I love it. Look at the little upstairs, downstairs bag. That is so cool. Same linen materials, same silk screening. Oh, that's so that's so cool. And there's our babies. Here's our, our new servants. We got the deck with Earl Howard. And we got the promotional cards here. For you people that busted my chop on the size of my little cards, you will bust my chops no longer. We have larger cards right here for you. Um, we have objective cards which take into account the upstairs downstairs servants. We have the instructions. Look very nice. It was it was very tough. I could have gone to 16 pages and I just I just couldn't do it. 
I really, you should see the, the techniques you use to shrink fonts and shrink images just to fit everything. Oh my word, it was so hard. This is the, this is sort of a, like a player mat thickness for like a, a terraforming Mars type player, player mat for the promotional cards that are here for their unique rules so that you can reference that for any, any rules there. I love that. Same score pad. Same, I'm gonna, I gotta check, well, I'll be able to check this. So, you know, actually, this is one way to check it. And look at that, 51 millimeters on the dot. Couldn't be happier. Beautiful, feels great. This is the extension. Someone who gets the upstairs, downstairs expansion. Let me grab, let me grab a, ah. this is a first edition this is a first edition supply board or central board. And this, oh, perfect. Do you see that? Do you see that? That is perfect. Look at that. This was off by like a little, just a hair. And I was talking to my guy, Adam, at Panda, and I said, what do you think, man? Should we move that? He goes, no. He goes, I, I think we're there. And he was right. That's fantastic. Oh, that's great. That's great, great, great. It's Christmas in June. So you got this. We've got the new, the new player, not the, the new round track. So this is the extended round track that's in this obsession, only it's been redone to the new edition because some people aren't buying the second edition of the base game. So this gives them the much better extended play side. And then all the new games that run on here, which are a lot of fun. They're in that rule book here, and I've done some videos on them if you haven't seen them. Here we are. These things, this is some new stuff here. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you got the Babbling Brook and the Parish Church, credit to the two winners for the promotional tiles. Those, uh, those look beautiful. And Housekeeper's Room, I love this. Head housemaid may perform any female service role except the cook. Really empowers that head housemaid who needed a boost. We've got more level fives to fit our new market management. We got a renovated kitchen there, that's where Guests of any prestige rating may attend for a gourmet tasting, and after you, after you do that, it turns into a permanent activity. Uh, using the cook may add one guest beyond the guest count from that point forward. Great, great tile there. Beautiful. Slide that over. I mean, I'm, I'm getting jazzed here. Stock Lake. We've got the lower value monuments. There's a lot of talk that people were very concerned about how overpowered the monuments were and they wanted to take them out of the courtship and I understand why they did it but it thematically bothered me so much that we did these four just so you can use the monuments they can be part of the courtship they're thematic they still have the power of ongoing reputation but we're not making sort of arbitrary unthematic rules which makes me want to jump off the top of the Empire State Building so uh, then we have Carriage House, which is new. This thing is powerful. It depends. It depends. But boy, if you get the right combination, you can just make hay with this thing. Servants' halls have been modified, and the barns have been clarified, and then more start tiles to allow five and six players. These here are for the milestones, and these here are for solo estate challenge. You put these, uh, you put these on the main supply board. This is looking fantastic. I tell you what, we're two for two, and that is uh, that that is the two most difficult. The Wessex expansion is going to be a little of a chip shot. Watch me jinx myself here. So the Wessex expansion, the main change here is that uh, I added a player board. A player board. Ugh, I can't think straight. I'm so excited. I added a uh, punch board which gives the Wessex Advantage tiles and two new first level tiles which I really like. So those cards are the same. 
and I improved the little notes here. Um, the Wessex, let's see, I want to see if it matches. That's looking great. This little fella here, mmm. First of all, here's your Wessex tiles. They got a little, they got a little building. So you don't have to, if you see these little building tiles showing up in your market, you should have, you should have kept these out of them. These are, these are for the Wessex family advantage. And then look at these babies here. These are going to be really important and useful, and the tile reserve is going to make the prestige rating one reserve that kicks in at the beginning of season three very, very. Um, it's 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 going to prevent stuff like this clogging up the market when you're coming down to the the last events of your major game, and and you're you you got to shop around a retiring room and a morning room. No, you want to be looking at the best of the best. I'm telling you, it works like a champ. I just love those out like butter. Whoa, we we have done it, people. We have done it. I do not find now. I got to go through every component with a fine tooth comb to see if there's any critical error. But I did that roughly. I think I totaled it 29,355 times during the quarantine. Uh, since I had delays, you know, you just hope you just hope that you don't miss anything. We almost missed something at the very end. We had a new a new backer come along and say, "Hey, did you mean this?" And I freaked out, but we got that. So this is the just a little cover sheet, and we get to and then we have like that thick terraforming Mars rule set. This is all the unique rules for the promotional tiles. That's the back. And then there they are. I'm telling you, these are so fun to play with, but you gotta you gotta pick your poison. You gotta decide what you want to tackle. And here's that elderly hall tile that's gonna allow for the distribution of prestige guests at a point of your choosing by by having a virtual costume ball. Um, this, that's a beautiful looking tile. Jeez, man. I'll tell you, Panda does good work. Look at that people we did it uh, I just went through all four titles and there was not one thing that jumped out of me that looks to be a concern I'm gonna examine everything a little closer but I feel like I'm gonna be given a thumbs up and these things are gonna hit the container ships in the next couple of weeks as they build according to this template thanks much excited